Hello everybody, it's Saturday the 20th of uh, October and uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be clearing out all of this muck and all of these weeds because um, it's plot inspections on Monday. I've got nine days off now from work which is absolutely tremendous news and in those nine days I'm not going to be down here all the time but I am going to be spending quite a bit of time down here to get everything straight and get everything right but on Monday it's plot inspection time so in this section we're going to be clearing out mixed on a sterling job sorting out um, the yang of the yin yang so I'll just be doing a little bit of stuff on, on this side as well, just finishing off a little bit of weeding on the yang. But on the yin, there's loads to do. So all of these um, dead plants and weeds are going to be cleared out. All of those canes are going to be taken out and stored away. And... Um, yeah, so the ground's going to be covered as well with the membrane after that, but you'll see that as we progress. There's a lot of work to do, as you can see here, an hell of a lot. So it's going to take us a good, um, a good few hours to get through all this. I'm um, going to be making some more comfrey feed with the comfrey that we've got here. So the first job I've got this morning is to take out the old comfrey and get it rotting down in buckets. The stinging nettles I'm going to do the same with, they're going to go into the buckets. So we'll have comfrey and, comfrey and stinging nettles going in for rotting down in the buckets to create the feed. All the general weeds and general crap that's on here is going to be either stored away or taken to the tip. And that's the game plan for today. Okie dokie. It's the same on this side. This side's not as bad because I have been kind of keeping on top of this a bit more. As you can see, um, but there is a lot of weeding to do, especially with this top end weeding and clearing to do at this top end where the old fruit cage was, and the neglected part, which is up here. It's all got to be done this weekend. This okay, wish me luck with that because there is a lot to do. And it's got to be done by, by Monday. So I'll crack on. I'm also thinking about fixing that up. But that may be for another video. And also creating a compost bin out of the pallets that we've got there. But we'll see how we get on. Okay, see you all in a bit. Yeah, so that's been cleared out, the frontage. I've also taken out the canes from here and uh, weeded in the pumpkin bed. Yep. Got to get the rest of the weeding done as well over the weekend. Uh, but I've been kind of off and on today, so I've not had a chance to do everything that, as usual, you need to do. Um, got the horse muck shifted that round. I actually did the uh, comfrey as well. Cut the comfrey back as you're supposed to do for winter. That'll grow back again next year. That's fine. Um, and shifted um, a lot of the branches back off that gooseberry. We don't eat gooseberries. That's going to be coming out. It's going to be coming out. So we're going to get flowers and stuff in here. Raised beds with flowers in and things. Same as this side. In fact, that might be coming out, that fence, that dividing fence. Not sure. Um, we'll see how the land lies with that. Same with these bushes here. Um, put some manure on. Actually, there's a mulch, a mulch of manure, full of turds, as you can see. Uh, but I have been reliably informed by Mick that that'll just be washed into the ground and rot down as it stands the worms will drag it down and all that sort of stuff so that's just going to go on top of that we were going to do a compost pile with it compost heap with it uh, but there's no need you can just put it on that'll be covered up as well uh, with the membrane so um, yeah 
that'll rot down on its own that. And each one takes two or three of these bags of manure that we got from um, Andy's mum. There's a chopper in the air, the DEA are on our case. Federalis. Uh, the onions and garlic are coming on strongly, as you can see there. All with the sound of the chappity chappity. And yet again, we're getting broccoli coming through on these ones, which is amazing, isn't it? Them leeks are probably ready for coming out as well now. Um, that's got to be cleared off tomorrow. All the weeds, lots more weeding to do, loads. It's a never ending battle with the weeds, as you probably know if you're a grower. Um, but it is a constant battle with the weeds. I mean, I pulled some of these out the other day, the weeds out for me, but they're coming back strong again. So they're going to have to be shifted out of the blueberry bed. And all of this location is going to be moved as well. I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with that. I'm not sure whether we've got any more poly left to do that. But over the next few days, something will be happening with that. I've got to get some more of that bark as well, because I'm going to cover um, the area I've cleared out down there with that bag. So I'll put in another three bags of that to cover up all of that stuff. And uh, yeah, weeds, 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 more weeds, etc, 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 ad infinitum. That means forever. But it's what you've got to do. It's what you have to do. You've got to weed. So that'll be, that will be the tail of the tape for this weekend and probably back into uh, the back end of next week. Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday next week, we're going to be doing stuff with the kids. Maybe even more. But this weekend is devoted to the allotment. It's going to be devoted to the allotment. So hopefully we'll, get, we'll be able to get quite a bit done this weekend. And get it looking the part. Because on Monday is when the... Uh, the plot inspection's done this Monday, so I want that looking nice for then. Although there are quite a few, um, quite a few of the guys and girls down here that are struggling to keep on top of the plots. This is one thing I will tell you really about having an allotment plot. It's um, it's not easy. It's not very easy anyway, because there's a time commitment and an effort commitment that you've got to put into it to keep it going and sometimes as you can probably appreciate it's not as easy especially when you've not got things growing in the ground and the nights are drawing in and when you finish work it's dark and you're getting back when it's dark then it's a, it's, it's difficult isn't it as a lot of you will know uh, to keep to keep the impetus going, so it's a passion really. You've got to be into it to um, to want to do it and keep going with it, which I do and we do. The boys have been down this afternoon and they've been helping out a little bit. They've been having chariot races in the two wheeled wheelbarrow. So uh, not races really. Bradley's been the charioteer and James has been his fine steed racing up and down this lane. So that is that. That is that good bit. Um, difficult to judge the angle of this camera. I've noticed on a few of the videos you're looking at my chest and sometimes you're looking at my nose up. I don't know which is worse. Um, but it's difficult to judge when you're looking at it, looking at it from this side. But yeah. Dead calm. Dead calm now. It's about um, knocking on for four o'clock in the afternoon on the Saturday. As I say, I've been off and on today. I've not done a full day, but I have done about three or four hours of weeding and clearing. And tomorrow there's probably about another five or six hours of weeding and clearing to get it looking right for Monday. I might need to hire the hedge trimmers as well, the petrol hedge trimmers to trim along there again. Up there. And level 
them off because you uh, you are responsible for the hedges as well you can't cut those hedges out or dig them out they've got to stay and you've got to maintain them you've got to keep them uh, in order so they don't um, grow too wild and bushy anybody got any tips as well while I've got you if you can hand um, a bit of advice out below just about these this is a bit of a shake look at that I'm dreaming of a white Christmas millions of white fly all over my beautiful kale so what a bit of advice about white fly really I've not really uh, researched white fly but it's everywhere it's all over these these uh, plots there's millions of them now I have heard that um, garlic solution and um, things like um, a soap wash a soap spray wash could do the trick with them but there's so many of them they're so prolific on here that hey, I don't know I don't know if there is a if there is a cure for them but there's certainly millions of them on here and they're everywhere on everybody's plots especially if you're growing outside like that if you're growing outside in the open because if I look into the covered beds you don't see too many of them but in there you definitely do lots and lots and lots of white fly they're like tiny little white moths tiny little white moths don't know what they do they don't seem to be affecting the plants too much but yeah give us an heads up about white fly all right oh yeah the comfrey is all in here so as you can see there we've got 10 buckets full which are going to be covered up because i didn't have anything to cover them up with today tomorrow when i come down i will um i will be putting um shopping bags plastic shopping bags over the top of them just to uh, excuse me yeah so uh, they don't get flooded out with too much rainwater and I'll, I'll leave them then for a fortnight and at the end of the fortnight we should have 10 buckets full or probably around 50 to 60 liters of beautiful organic plant feed country plant feed but not just country comfrey and stinging nettles so it's about a half and a half mix really that of stinging nettles that we've dug up and cut up and put into there and the comfrey that we've dug up cut up and put into there and once that rots down i'm pretty darn sure it's going to be an effective plant nutrient um yeah so it's a high nitrogen feed, that, the comfrey feed. Watch Tony O'Neill and anybody else that knows what they're doing. They'll talk to you about comfrey. And also about stinging nettles. There's three, really. There's comfrey, there's stinging nettles, and apparently there's rhubarb leaves that are supposed to be good. When they rot down, they stink. They stink to high heaven. But they're good. I'm going to put these to some good use as well. There will be probably a compost bin being made out of those tomorrow as well at some at some juncture. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's going to be a mixed bag this week. I'm off until the 29th, I think. So um, there'll be some jobs being done on the house. That big job, that big job that broke out a while ago, has not been completed yet. So that big job that broke out a while ago will be completed this week. The bathroom and the um, dining room ceiling are going to be done this week, as well as the tidy up on here and a few other bits of titivation down here. All right. So uh, yeah, have a good rest of the weekend. I'll see you all soon, probably tomorrow where we will be catching up on the weeding progress, the tidying progress and the general titivation of the uh, yin yang plots or rather the yin the yin will be, will be done because the yang's are already looking good mixed side 
it's my side I need to concentrate on now. The polytunnel's up and running, that's fine and dandy. Um, not this weekend or this week even, we're, we're, we're going to be fixing up the um, the existing greenhouse, but also getting the other greenhouse set up, but I've got to get permission in for that, so that's going to be next month, um, because it's not going where it was going. The new greenhouse is going to go on, on my side, it's going to go where the fruit cages were, here. I know I keep chopping and changing my mind, but um, it's going to go here, the greenhouse. Either in this location, or facing that one, right here, but further forward, about a foot and a half, two foot away from the, I'm going to put some more flags in there, have the greenhouse here, so it comes to about there, and the path continues from this side up there so that's the, that's the new position that's the position of the where the greenhouse is going to be going it's going to be going here uh, the rest of this area we're going to have a composting section this thing has got to be moved about a foot towards me so that we can get some space around the back so that um, the plot inspectors and everybody can walk down the side here because that's only about a foot and it needs to be about two foot so that's got to move that away which is going to be a small feat in itself yeah but it's got to be done yeah aren't it mr death yes it has got to be done otherwise i will destroy you well that's fair enough isn't it can't argue with that can we boys and girls um a lot more clearing up as i say these um are going to be shifted out of the way And I'm going to create another bed with those. But I haven't actually decided where I'm going to make that. But there is going to be another bed created with those. Which are the 8 by 2 Okay. So there's lots and lots of plots and plans still to go on. But it's a general good thudder tidy up this weekend. So I can forget about it for a bit. So I don't have to worry about it being on top being too bad, being crap and naff. I want it looking neat and tidy for next week so I can crack on with the family stuff, which is highly important. It has high importance, and it should be. Right then, boys and girls, I'll see you all next, uh, next time. Waffling on, I know, again. But uh, stay lucky, be first, and keep growing with your head down. All right, take care. I'll leave you with the ladies. Let's get the ladies. There they are. We'll have a different lady today. Oh, she's looking a bit depressed. I don't know whether we'll have her. We'll have her. None of them looking too, uh, too chipper. Are they? Right. Catch you all next time. See you later.